Hello friends, welcome again to another uh, session on triangles. So in the given uh, question, the sides AB and AC of a triangle, ABC are produced to P and Q. So you can see AB is produced to P and this is Q and uh, if bisectors of PBC, so PBC, so PO is the bisector and QCB's bisector is CO and uh, you have to prove that angle BOC that means this angle is equal to 90 degrees minus half angle A so let's say this is X and let's say this is Y and this um, yeah so instead of naming naming it as uh, with uh, letters let's name them with numbers so if this is 1 so let's say this angle if this is 2 then clearly this angle is 2 isn't it and if this is 3 so this angle also happens to be 3 right why because OB is the bisector of angle PBC and OC is the bisector of BCQ so I hope this draw figure is clear and let me call this angle as 4 hmm? and let's call this angle as 5 and this angle is 6 right so so many numbers and angles here but never mind we'll be able to prove it now we have to prove BOC right so what do we know about BOC it is part of triangle BOC is it so we can say uh, let's first write the you know whatever is the mandatory uh, steps usually we write these things right given is what is given uh, OB bisects OB bisects OB bisects angle PBO no sorry angle PBC and OC bisects angle BCQ or QCB right this is given and we have to prove to prove what do we need to prove we need to prove angle BOC is equal to angle BOC is equal to um, 90 degrees minus half angle A let's try and prove this how to prove this so as I told you we can start from the triangle BCO is it it so triangle in triangle in triangle BCO BCO what can we what do we see we see that angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is 180 degrees no doubt about it why because this is called ASP angle sum angle sum property angle sum property of a triangle isn't it very clear no problem now 3 is half of angle PBC so I can say angle 1 uh, or first of all let's write this that uh, angle 2 times angle 3 2 times angle 3 is equal to angle 4 plus angle C 6 right and why is that 2 times angle 3 if you check this is 2 times angle 3 and this will be equal to interior opposite angle sum of interior opposite angle which happens to be 4 and 6 so that's what I have written over here and let's write this is because of exterior exterior angle property exterior angle theorem correct we learned this in the previous sessions so that means 2 angle 3 is angle 4 plus 6 that means angle 3 is equal to half angle 4 plus angle 6 let's name the equations also so 1 this is 2 okay then third let me write it here in this part so that the figure is also in the same frame so I can also say similarly similarly for for the other pair similarly I can say 2 times angle 2 which is the external angle which one this one will be equal to this plus this isn't it interior opposite so angle 2 angle 2 2 times angle 2 is angle 4 plus angle 5 that means angle 2 is equal to half angle 4 plus angle 5 I hope this is clear right now what uh, we know that angle 4 plus 5 plus 6 itself is 180 degrees hmm? or let's write uh, uh, let's start from here from 1 so can I not say from 1 from 1 from 1 
what do we say we say angle 1 is equal to 180 degrees minus what angle 2 plus angle 3 just reordering or you know taking angle 2 and angle 3 on the R R R R R RHS now 180 degrees now from 2 and 3 if you see I can replace angle 2 by what you check this relationship and I am replacing angle 2 in this here by half angle 4 and angle 5 and then angle 3 is here so I can replace this by half angle 4 plus angle 6 isn't it let's simplify this one so this is nothing but 180 degrees minus half angle 4 half angle 4 plus half angle 5 plus half angle 4 again plus half angle 6 correct that means 180 degrees minus angle 4 because half plus half if you add these two you'll get half plus half is one so angle 4 plus half angle 5 plus angle 6 isn't it now if you look closely 4 5 and 6 what is 4 5 and 6 so you can see angle 4 plus angle 5 plus angle 6 is 180 degrees clearly let us say this to be 4 or rather I can say angle 5 plus angle 6 is 180 degrees minus angle 4 let me call it equation number 4 and if you if you go back to the this equation so what I'm going to do is let me just copy this and take it to so let me copy this and let me take this to the place where we were solving okay so that it becomes clear to everybody in the same frame right so hence I am writing this also okay now uh, if you if you see uh, if I take this one now, sorry, if I take this, what can I say? And what was this? Where did we all start? This is all angle 1, isn't it? All are angle 1. All are angle 1. So I can say now angle 1 is equal to 180 degrees minus angle 4 and half angle 5 plus 6. So you see this can be written as half angle 5 plus angle 6 don't you agree that this is 90 degrees minus half angle 4 right how by dividing the entire equation by 2 this by 2 this by 2 isn't it so half angle 5 plus 6 will be 90 minus half angle 4 so let's replace that so we had half angle 5 plus 6 here which we were writing here so 180 minus angle 4 and then this can be written as 90 minus half angle 4 correct so if you simplify this will become angle 1 is equal to 180 degrees minus angle 4 if you add these two 1 minus half is half so half angle 4 comes out and then minus 90 degrees now if you add these two you will get 90 degrees minus half angle 4 correct and what was angle 1 let's check angle 1 was boc and what was angle 4 angle a so hence can i not replace this by angle boc is equal to 90 degrees minus half angle a and this is what we needed to prove and we have proved it Correct, so angle BOC is equal to 90 degree minus half angle A. This is what this theorem or question demanded, right? So we could prove this. What all did we apply? What underlying concept learning? What are the learnings? Learnings are some angle, some property we deployed and exterior angle, exterior angle theorem we deployed. And using these two theorems, we could establish this result. 